about the timing. Could you please ask the students whether they want to change the time? Yeah, I already asked uh, Levan, Levan to take care about this uh, this issue. Uh, well, she hasn't yet. <laughs> yeah, so maybe Levan, she can create a WhatsApp group or I mean for fast communication and ask students if would like to change the time but i'm not sure guys because uh, next class also we will uh, uh, we will conduct it uh, at campus it will be also tutorial i'm not sure if we gonna change the time to 3 p.m uh, i'm not sure if a uk is still i mean open from 3 to let's say 5 or 5 30. so this one also you need you need to take care about this point maybe Allah. Uh, maybe sir maybe the only uh, the, the the online class we could we could take it at three and then the other on campus class we could take it at nine yeah so i mean i would like to raise this this point so maybe levan also can can consider this point when i mean communicating with you guys i'm sorry sir i forgot to do that i will do it yeah. today yeah all right so maybe you can create a whatsapp group i mean for for all fast right. communication and uh, you can text, I mean, all the points that we have highlighted. And yes, I don't have any problem for online to be at three, uh, on campus to be uh, morning, let's say, yeah, nine or 9.30, we can start even, no, no problem. Uh, but I don't have all everyone's number. Who has everything? Like, uh, the admin. Uh, also, I don't have, I mean, uh, all, I mean, I have for Mardin, Faiz, and your number, Shalau, uh, Hanas, Ala, but the remaining, I'm not sure. So maybe, guys, you can text your your mobile number, if you don't mind, your hand phone number in our team's group, Advanced Telecommunication System, then uh, Lavan, or you can text uh, Lavan in All the right. teams that, yeah, please, I mean, text your hand phone right. number. A group in Teams, there is a group a chat. We can oh. talk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for fast communication, if you would like to create a WhatsApp group, then I mean, okay. if you would like to keep, I mean, your your communication in in Teams, then okay, I don't have, I mean, any problem. You are you are the leader, and you can you can, I mean, follow the approach that you really want. Okay. Sir. All right. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, guys, so I think uh, now we can start. Okay, so we have done actually the um, chapter one, which I said it's just an introduction um it was um, uh, about a brief introduction about this one circuit switching networks and also about packet switching network and also about some wireless all right so now we will start uh, a little bit detail related to this one circuit switching networks I'm not going to go uh, really deep on this one, uh, circuits uh, switching network. I will consider only the designing part. All right, so design, how we can design a simple <clears throat> network by using some techniques. And hopefully I can uh, finish by, by today. So next class on campus will be tutorial. All right, because I'm sure that you will uh, you will ask some some questions here, um, like how to design, how about the input, output, and the, the switches in between. So uh, on campus, uh, we I will try my best to make everything clear for you guys because this one actually, as I mentioned, even last week, that in this chapter we will have design question. All right, design question and the level of design. I mean, can start very simple design question and also we can design really advanced. 
okay because this one actually depend on the concept that we have uh, we have um, we have done it previously for example in in analog communication and that telephonic course because you'll have some bandwidth all right and we're going to divide this bandwidth uh, for some users all right so um, uh, each user for sure will occupy some bandwidth and and after that we need to use some multiplexing technique like frequency division multiplexings or time division multiplexing then we have to recall some some concepts so um, i'm sure that you will have some uh, some concern uh, related to concepts that we have done it previously and also the design so that's why i i really prefer to conduct some uh, classes on uh, campus iuk especially for the tutorial so we explain the concepts online but when we uh, would like to uh, practice design, then I really prefer to have an, uh, a face to face uh, discussion with you guys for better understanding. Similar to previous chapter, I have uploaded the tutorials. The tutorials, it was seems like a simple some of of the questions, but some of the questions we when we explain on on whiteboard when we have more discussions, the idea, I mean, becomes clearer and clearer. All right. So this uh, this chapter will be the first uh, uh, circuit switching networks, and after that, this one will be the second packet, and we will move to the um, wireless. In wireless, as I mentioned, this one we have briefly discussed, and this one we have briefly discussed, and also this one we have briefly discussed. So in, in packets also, I will not uh, really go in, in really details. I will uh, focus on the main concept. And for wireless, we will try to discover the GIS technologies um, starting from 3G, 4G, and we will try to, uh, yeah, 5G, and we will try to touch the latest uh, technology which is the sixth generation because the research already started on on um, on this technology all right okay <clears throat> so the um what we call it the content will be circuit switches multiplexing uh, transport network or circuit switches traffic management this one actually i will i will try for for this one this one it's um, uh, congestion or traffic management or error detection all will be in this uh, uh, topic but we'll focus mainly on this one circuit switches and multiplexing all right so the design will be this one and this one <clears throat> these are the most important actually uh, topics that related to uh, circuit switching networks. So now you have an idea about uh, you have an idea about circuit uh, circuit switches. If you remember last last chapter, we said that it's um, we have three phases in in this case. We need to establish all right the the circuit or the switches, and after that we need to link, and after that we need to release all right so three main uh, phases in this um, um, what you call it circuit uh, switches all right <clears throat> so this is actually is a general um, a graphical representation all right so we have for example a two pieces i would like to communicate all right with 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 each other uh, so the component and connections either we can not or terminal or or whatever for example here dte it's data terminal equipment but it's not necessary to fix with this number uh, with this i mean 
with this name, either node, node A, node B, or, or whatever name. And uh, we have a uh, network here. We have data communication equipment. All right, so depend. All right, data um, communication equipment. And we have some uh, user to network interface. This one, UNI, uh, user to network interface user to network interface and we have network to network interface if we have for example a remote then from one network to another network this one actually is a is like a standard even in in wireless communication even in in wireless communication if you if you remember the figures that we have explained um in wireless communication, if we would like to communicate within the cell. All right, within the cell, so you need from base station to mobile. All right, from base station to mobile. So if you would like to go for communication for another cells. All right, another cells. Then this one will communicate with its base station, base station will forward it to another base station, another base station, to another base station, then after that downlink to the uh, mobile. So when we said network to network interface, if we are talking about telecommunications uh, network in terms of wired, for example, will be same in terms of wireless, but for example, here will be instead of network to network, this one will be base station to base station, all right? And even, for example, in uh, for example, here we have user to network uh, interface. Also, here we have in wireless. This is the user to base station. For example, if you are using your mobile and would like to change your your cell from this cell to this cell, all right. Then this one we call it the handover, all right. So user to uh, network interface in, in wireless, we call it handover strategies. That means this base station taking care about your call and you are moving away from this base station, moving toward this base station, then we call it the uh, handover. So in terms of terminology actually is almost, almost like, I mean, I'm not saying is a standard, but it's really similar to I mean, in, in both wired and, and wireless with different with different uh, uh, naming. All right, so this is actually is a uh, general, the way that we move from or we send data from one node to uh, another node. All right, so in terms of switching, you can see uh, this one actually is a system with dedicated line. All right, so that means this one actually is without switching. And this one is with a uh, system with switched line or switching system. All right, so previously it was like, like this one. And after that move to switches and after that move to packet. All right, so for example, if you'd like to, to compare like a network with a dedicated line compared to some telecommunication systems with a, a switched line you can see here we have one two three a b c would like to communicate with d e f and also here for example a b c would like to communicate with d e f so this is a terminal all right you can say node or you can say like this one uh, data terminal equipment, so any name. All right, and this one also terminal. Here we have terminal, here we have terminal. So here, if you would like to, to check the connections, you need a uh, number of lines is, is 15. You can check this one, one. This one goes to this one, two, three, and this one also will communicate. So we have three times three will be nine, and after that, this one, 10, this one, 11, this one, 13, and this one will be 15, all right? So all together, if you would like to, to count, it will be 15 lines. 
OK, so this one actually in terms of dedicated, that means each node will be connected to another terminal by a line. This one A to D will be by a line. A to E will be a line and A to F will be a line. It's a dedicated line. So if if A would like to communicate with F, then there is a dedicated line. All right. If A would like to communicate with E, there is a dedicated line and so on and so forth. And for example, D would like to communicate with E, a dedicated line. E with F, there is a dedicated line. D with F, same goes for A with B and B with C and A with C. And also same goes with B, also dedicated line with D with E and F and so on and so forth. But in terms of switches, I can replace all this one by center switch in between. All right, center switch in between and I have one, two, three. All right, one, two, three connections. Terminal A goes to the switching center by one line and terminal B goes to switching center by one line and C also goes to the switching center by one line. And same for the other side, D and E and F connected by one line. So whatever, I don't care about the communication. For example, A would like to communicate with F. This one line will be active and the switch in between can switch back to this line and I can reach here. And instead of the messy dedicated line, I can put the central switch or exchange office or whatever we call it in between. Then I care about the terminal here inside the automatic switch will take care about the destination. All right, so coming from B, also there is a switch. I would like to go to D, for example, switch here, and I will go to D. From C, for example, I would like to go to E, to the central switch, and I switch here, and I go to directly to E, and so on and so forth. So in this case, for example, this one is will be more efficient compared to the previous one. So this is our, our, our final goal. The answer actually is no. We have some other techniques that we'd like to to discover because here if you would like to, uh, for example, increase this one and increase this one. Uh, the as I mentioned here. Um, the design, all right here I said we need to design, am I right? So here is just a box. Is the box, but what is inside we're going to discover and we're going to design. So here also is a as uh, we have what we call it the in terms of computational complexity the complexity of the switching also will be high so this is actually is not our our final goal the box here we have uh, many to do inside all right many to do inside and different techniques we will discover afterward and we will try to design our own all right we'll try to design our own <clears throat> So our communication network consists of a collection of switching nodes. And why switching? We said that a switching system does not need as many lines as systems that use in this one, the normal one, dedicated lines, make it uh, much cheaper in terms of, of cost. And also it's easier to, to handle. All right, you can see the two figures and you can compare. All right, how it looks like. And this one for sure will be more efficient compared to uh, to the dedicated uh, uh, lines. All right, so there are generally two types of, of switching technique. Uh, as we mentioned, circuit switching and packet switching. All right, so we are here actually. We are here in this uh, chapter and we have another chapter to deal with the uh, packet switching. We have, I mean, provided some <coughs> introduction about both in previous chapter and we compared um, circuit switching with the packet uh, switching. But now actually we're going to uh, discover some, some details related to both switching techniques. So this is actually general circuit switching, packet switching. Inside we have some some uh, techniques, some details, and some design procedures. All right. <clears throat> okay. So this one actually the switch line. This one the switches inside. 
All right, switches inside and here for this also we have a switched um, switch lines. All right. So this one for sure will be lower cost. All right, lower cost compared to the to this one. But again and again, inside the box, we gonna design. All right, we will have a design. Uh, this one, the switches. According different technique, we have different technique, either crossbar or or uh, space. All right, and the one that we briefly explained in the previous chapter, we're going to design in some details. OK, so again, <laughs> we will um, we will see that uh, this one actually it might be very simple design or it might be really difficult. OK, so I will provide you with a simple one. Uh, maybe by today class and in, in tutorial, I'll provide you a little bit high and maybe in, in midterm exam will be uh, some uh, uh, difficult design um, design question. Then you have to really uh, think and recall some some concept that you have learned in order to provide a proper uh, a proper design. OK, anyway. <clears throat> and also, guys, I'm planning to the midterm will be on uh, on campus um, uh, planning and I will I will let you know maybe by end of this week. All right. How are you, Avan? Avan or Lavan, sir? Uh, Avan. I think Avan is here. It's long time no see Avan. Are you OK? All right, anyway. <clears throat> OK. All right, so uh, circuit switching. Uh, we said that circuit switching create a dedicated communication path between two stations. Originally it was developed to handle voice and also can be um, uh, carry a data. All right, like we said that in, in packet uh, switching, we have a virtual uh, circuit switching all right virtual circuit switching inside this one so uh, this one packet actually it's uh, for 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 the internet and this one can be uh, part of of the packet switching so it can handle i mean voice and, and data and this one the, the faces if you remember that we have uh, highlighted in previous chapter circuit establishment and uh, uh, data transfer and circuit uh, disconnect. So that means we have a procedure when we are dealing with circuit switching and packet switching on demand. If we have if we have a data to deliver, then then the link after that there is uh, like we have a pool of, of links available if we have no data. But this one actually is a procedure we must uh, we must actually uh, follow exactly the circuit establishment before any signal can be transmitted. An end to end circuit must be established. All right. If there is no uh, available, then we have uh, a block. All right. There is a, some a blocking probability, and we have some another technique to reduce the blocking probability or to avoid some blocking probability. And data transfer, the information may be voice or data in analog or digital networks and circuit disconnect after data transfer is completed. The connection is terminated by one of the two uh, stations. All right, so like here. If you'd like to communicate, then this one must be established. All right, and data will follow. And after that, this is the switches will be terminated. All right, so the switch this line will be available uh, available again for any other 
node or terminal that would like to communicate with another terminal. OK. <clears throat> <coughs> so this is an example actually of of both circuit switching and packet switching. All right, so here we have a terminal. All right, we have a terminal or node would like to communicate to another terminal or node, and this one same goes for packet. Terminal would like to communicate with a terminal. So in terms of uh, switches, you can see all these are switches 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 and switches all right so this one this one the one that i already mentioned to you we need to design okay so we need to design depend on some giving information inputs then we have um, we have to design and we can calculate the uh, computational complexities and uh, we can redesign, I mean design by using some procedures and we redesign in order to minimize the blocking uh, probability and also we can combine this design with some uh, multiplexing technique like frequency division multiplexing or time division multiplexing or any other uh, multiplexing technique. So here, here how the, our design looks like blocks, some blocks, each block has some input and output, and in between also we have some some blocks that connects the first and the second, all right, or the last stage. We have stage, we have stage. The out, the input here must be as the same of the output. So for example, when I said 200 times 200, all right, then I assume that this one is I have from one to 200, the output from one to 200. And in between, I need to design. There are some procedures. All right. <clears throat> and um, uh, the block in, in between until I reach, I mean, connect the input stage and output stage. So this is the input and this is the output. <clears throat> All right. So when this terminal would like to communicate, then the switches connect. For example, I can connect to this one or I can move to this one. All right. If I follow this one, there's uh, some connections all right it's it's a depend on the availability all right it's not necessary to follow this one you can follow this one you can go to this one connect here and connect here connect and directly go to this terminal all right so depend on the availability of the um, uh, switches so i'm following uh, this all right from here i go to another stage and connect switches connect to the last uh, stage all right or the output stage then goes to the uh, required terminal all right so this is the input input stage and this is the output stage and in between we have some uh, we have some uh, stages all right we have some stages we're going to design similar to to this to this figure based on some some techniques that we have and also uh, as i mentioned we're going to uh, calculate the computational complexity and also we redesign to have a a better um what we call it um uh, switching circuits with um little blocking all right with little blocking so this is actually in terms of in terms of circuit switching. In terms of packet switching, you can see the data actually is divided into packets and it's not necessary to follow same path. Here is same, all right? I cannot send some data in this path and the remaining another path, no. This one the established, all right? And after that, the data will data transfer will follow the established line between input and output and after that one once once done then the circuit will be disconnected but in the interesting point in packet switching in this one that the data actually divided into packets all right divided into packets and these packets will will travel using different path all right different path and at the terminal all right at the terminal all the path recombine again 
All right, it's not necessary. For example, I send packets this one. Uh, let's say one, two, three, and four. This is my own uh, sequence. All right, so here it's my recombine three, four, one, and two. Okay, so here after that, we have what we call it the error corrections and the, the traffic and some, some technique in order to um, rearrange and reordering the the packets. But the main the main concern about this one or the main concept about the packet switching that the data gonna divide it into small small packets. And for sure if I divide it into small small packets, the processing time will be high compared to to circuit switching. So this one will be faster in terms of processing compared to circuit switching. And uh, the packets will follow different uh, different paths between the two terminals, terminal sender or receiver or two nodes. Okay, and this is the main differences between the two types of switching, two types of switching, because we said the switching can be divided into two broad techniques, circuit switching and packet switching. <coughs> All right. All right, so this is the um, like a, a comparison between a circuit switch, a virtual uh, circuit, all right, virtual circuit, and a uh, datagram, all right, datagram packet switching and this one virtual circuit packet switching. If you remember, we said that uh, we have circuit switching and in packet switching we have can be divided into two. If you remember virtual circuit packet switching, that means it's a mix concept of of packets and circuits. And we have datagram packet switching, which is a pure uh, packet switching techniques. OK. So this one actually will be in um, uh, not in this uh, not in this chapter. This one and this one because this one actually B and C it's related to packet. All right, this one is related to packet switching, and this one here is related to um, what we call it the circuit switching technique. All right. So in terms of call setup, uh, connect and disconnect, you can. You can see the difference, all right, from the figures. For example, here in terms of in terms of circuits, then call request signal, all right, to establish. This one all here, we have a propagation delay, we have processing delay. This one call accept signal would be sent. So that means the the link is established. This one when when this one tried to connect with this one, then we have call request signal call request signal to the here we saw it, we call it exchange office or or switching office okay then after that call accept once this terminal actually is uh, available not on call or all the switches are some of the switches are available all right then this one will be accept and send back all right then after that the data will be move data will be move and once the data is reached for example there is an acknowledgement this actually is really details details the mechanisms how the how the uh, data move from this one to uh, that one so uh, this one actually if we take to go it's really details we need another another uh, uh, chapters all right because circuit switching we have the concepts which i'm gonna explain in this chapter and we have some uh, mechanisms and procedures which need for example another chapters that are related to traffic management congestion control and error correction detections etc so this is the way that call setup connect and disconnect so let's see compared to this one okay <clears throat> uh, you can see virtual circuits uh, virtual circuit packet switching okay this one call accept uh, send request all right and this one call 
accept uh, packets, you can see here is a signal. All right, here is a signal, here is a packet. All right, and after that, the data gonna send in terms of, in terms of packet and acknowledgement also in terms of packet. In datagram, this one we call it connectionless. If you remember last chapter, we call it connectionless technique. When I said connectionless, that means it's equal to this one, datagram packet. So that means there is, there is no, I mean, um, uh, connection. There is no link actually. There is no path is available between terminal and uh, sender and receiver. This one on demand. If I would like to communicate, then I immediately send packets on the network. If there is path available, then my packets will will will. I mean, gonna deliver to terminal. So this one, for example, terminal, and this one is terminal. So you can see in terms of processing, it's obviously this one actually is uh, is the best. All right, this one actually is the best compared to compared to this one and also compared to the this one. There's no propagation delay, there's no processing delay, all right, like in the circuit switching. And also there is no some uh, request and accept and acknowledgement. I have a packet, I can send it straight forward. So all these actually will, uh, uh, again, if I would like to go in details for this one, then uh, we will, um, we will draw a timing uh, like this one, timelines, and uh, for example, I can give you a scenario and you can trace, for example, what happened and how many packets we have and the time, for example, this one, <clears throat> how much time is required. <coughs> so this one actually is related, for example, to traffic, traffic management and uh, uh, error correction and detection, like here, the one that I this one, all right. In in this technique, uh, we can study all that um, mechanisms and procedures. All right, mechanisms and and the procedures. So these are the main techniques. So in in this chapter again, we are here. But in coming chapter, we will study. <clears throat> I mean, the virtual packet switching and the datagram packet switching. All right. Uh, virtual and and uh, datagram <clears throat> <clears throat> all right so this is also the shows the general um, procedures mechanisms all right so we have subscriber is a device attached to to network so we are all for example using mobile so we are referred to subscribers, all right? So even in mobile communication, in mobile um, well, communication, we are subscribers, all right? So subscribers device attached to network. So for example, this one is a subscriber, or if we are using a wireless, we are also a subscriber, all right? So this one we call it telephone or landline, all right? Landline. <clears throat> And this one we call it mobile station or mobile device or subscriber, so it depends actually. So a local loop, we said that this one is a connection between between the, the device, the subscriber, and the end office. Um, connection, yeah, subscriber, subscriber loop or connection to, to network. And in between, we have exchange. <clears throat> uh, we have exchange. All right, we have, we call it the, uh, exchange uh, uh, office or switching center or switching office the office that uh, we have all the switches in the inside and the, the central um, unit that take care about the establishment of a path between two uh, <clears throat> between two terminals all right and uh, Switching center and office support thousands of subscribers in a local area. And if we have again, if we have uh, this terminal, would like to communicate with another terminal, they are in, not in the same area, for example, different region, then from center to center, all right, from center to center. And after that, <clears throat> once we reach end office and from end office to another uh, terminal. 
All right. Uh, this one, if we'd like to compare it with with wireless, the procedure will be almost same. For example, if we have a mobile, all right, the one that I would like the idea that I would like to highlight it that the procedures is almost similar, all right, but we have here wireless. So if if mobile would like to communicate with another mobile, OK, for example, you would like to call your friend and your friend in in Erbil and you are in in the hook. So you will send your message to your own base station. All right, and base station will forward it to one office. We call it mobile switching center. And this mobile switching center will take care about all the base station in the Hawk City. This one, we have some huge tower will forward it to mobile switching center at Bill site. All right, and from this one, this one will forward it to this base station and the base station will take care about this mobile device. So you can see it's almost the same. Instead of mobile switching center here, we have exchange, uh, exchanging center. All right, this one, exchanging center. So if we have a long distance, you can see one center and another center. For example, Doha and Erbil, we have one mobile switching center and another mobile switching center. So it's almost the same, but in terms of uh, wireless, we will gonna discover different terminology and uh, some the mechanism actually is a little bit um, different compared to to one. But generally speaking, um, generally speaking, the component here is, for example, here we can name it as a mobile. Here we can name it as a uh, what you call it the uh, air interface. All right, air interface. Uh, here we can call it mobile switching center and here also we can call it the base uh, station base transceiver station all right so the terminology is different and the the way also different in terms of wire and wireless but in general we can say that um, similar similar procedure we're going to follow <clears throat> All right, so this is the uh, telecoms uh, or telecommunications component, subscribers or subscriber line, uh, exchange or and and trunks, which is the branches between between exchanges, multiplexed. This one here, the trunks. All right, which is the uh, branches between between exchanges, uh, switching center. All right between this one and this one. <clears throat> so this is the component subscribers, the subscriber line, and um, uh, exchange, switching center, and the trunks, which is the branches between exchange and multiplexed. All right, so circuit establishment. So this is actually as a, an example. For example, if I would like to communicate A with B, which is same, so you can see only within end office only within end office but if i would like to communicate c with d which is i mean it's different region then this one will go to the trunk all right intermediate exchange and another trunk then move back to this one so it depends actually on the position depend on the location depend on the distance that you would like to reach all right so in wireless also in wireless also we can draw similar to to this one but the connections will be uh, between mobiles and base station. If we are far, for sure, we need some some help from the mobile switching center. <clears throat> All right, so the advantages and disadvantages um, for the uh, circuit uh, switching the physical connection for the whole duration of of connection i mean once you the, the physical path is is established then that path should be active uh, all right so dedicated end to end communications and um, i mean any when we said this one for example that mean any problem in between uh, the the 
uh, call or the data transfer going to be terminated, not like a, a wireless. In, in a wireless, um, we have one dedicated. Yeah, that's right. But if you, uh, you are, I mean, driving, for example, along the highway, so the connection is still active and you are changing your, your cell. You are changing your, your uh, uh, frequency and base station. So the, the connection is still, still active. So this, this features is not available in, in, in circuit switching technique. So the path is path. Any problem in between, you're going to lose your call or you're going to lose your data transfer. And uh, inefficient, the channel uh, capacity dedicated for a duration of connection. If no data, capacity will be wasted. All right. If no data to transmit, then the capacity will be wasted. Not like a packet switching on demand. If we have a data, then this one will be active. No data, this one will be remain or return to the uh, available uh, status. <clears throat> and the setup connection takes time. All right, especially if you have a long distance. If you have a long distance, this one need a time. All right, in order to set up and checking for the switching. <clears throat> and um, yeah, this one is for voice, but also used for for a data like um, uh, public switch telephone networks and private branch exchange. Uh, so also can be used for for data and also can be uh, two ways communication. For example, if you would like to communicate, uh, you have a you have a cell here, and you have a mobile, and you would like to call this device. All right. So the procedure will be go through this one. PSTN. All right. The procedure will be via this one. PSTN which is public switch telephone uh, telephone network. Uh, this is the, the main connections between mobile and landline. All right, so this one from mobile will be to mobile switching center. And from mobile switching center will go to PSTN. PSTN and after that you will follow the same procedure. All right, and if you would like to call from landline to mobile, same procedure. PSTN to mobile switching center and after that all right, so but the complexity actually will be a little bit high because we have different modulation techniques and and uh, will be here and here. So in terms of complexity will be a little bit uh, high compared to landline to landline or mobile to mobile. All right. <clears throat> so I mean, what we have done previously, it's um, Brief introduction about the um, circuit switching. All right, the uh, brief idea about the circuit switching and for upcoming, if I'm not mistaken, we're gonna uh, try to design. All right, try to um, try to design. <coughs> Uh, some uh, switching uh, network. All right. So again, circuit switches like a physical cable connections that allows information flow between inputs and outputs. All right. So input, which is which is terminal. All right. Output. All right. It's a terminal to the network. So we have uh, depend on the number of inputs. Depend on the number of outputs then the complexity uh, can increase or decrease. All right, so sometimes you have thousand times thousand. All right, and we have, for example, 10 times 10. So for sure, the complexity, computational complexity for this one will be really high compared to this one. So if you keep increase, input and output, the complexity also going to increase. And is the like an interconnection of, of switches, nodes, and the function is to transfer signal which arrives at a given input to an appropriate output. All right, similar to what we have uh, showed previously, like uh, this one, the connections of 
some on-port connection with some output. All right, so for example, here we have one, two, three. Also here we can have one, two, three. So we can assume this one is a like an, an on-port and this one like in an output. Okay. <clears throat> So if, for example, this is the, uh, if we have a network and here if we have a uh, switching, all right, switching uh, uh, center. So you can see, for example, here how many nodes, how many nodes we have? Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. And in this particular scenario, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So for sure, depend on the, the connection, for example, star, ring, uh, 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 line drop, or, or whatever topology, but in this particular scenario, we have the users uh, N minus one. The N actually is a link. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we have five users, one, two, three, four, five. So in terms of, of users, uh, we can say n minus one, that mean n here actually is referred to the links, minus one, so we have six minus one will be five users. All right, so this, that the way that network connect, this is actually just an, an example, guys, as I mentioned, because it depends on the topologies. We have different, different topologies, how the, Wired network connects to each to each other, but this is just an example. If you'd like to compare it with the with the switching techniques, <clears throat> in terms of in terms of switching, we have on put. All right, we have on put and we have output. You can see n times n. All right. So from one, two, three, until we reach to n, it's 100, 50, 20, 10, it's depend. And this one also one, two, three. So depend on the uh, n value that we're gonna choose. And this one here is the connection of input and output. So in between here we have switching. We have switching. For example, if I would like to communicate one with n, then here I have some some blocks. All right, some blocks, some blocks. OK, and here also I have some some input, some output, some input here, some output. So it depend actually on the design procedure. Here we have, for example, one to uh, n divided by n. We're going to check it afterward. But I mean, we have some box inside. And each box we have some switches. For example, I can my 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 call establishments can follow this one, and from here I can reach to this one, or from I can choose different different path. And again, this one will be uh, automatic uh, establishments by the exchange uh, uh, exchange unit or the switching uh, switching center. <clears throat> All right. So the the element actually we have um, um, three, one, two, and uh, three. All right, one, two, and three. We have digital switches. This one. We have network interface. This one, and we have control unit. All right, three main elements. <coughs> three main elements. <coughs> All right, so for the digital uh, switches, this one, which is allow full duplex transmission, and for the network interface represents the function and hardware needed to connect digital devices. Uh, for example, the data processing devices, uh, digital telephones, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In terms of data processing, uh, uh, this one actually it's. Um, uh, like uh, signal processing, okay, analog uh, signal 
processing or digital signal uh, processing. I mean, all the processing that related to data in order to provide the data in an in a proper way, remove noise or or provide analyzing. <clears throat> OK. And for control units normally take care about the uh, control uh, process like uh, uh, handle and acknowledgement requests, uh, determine if the uh, destination is free and to construct uh, pass through the switches, maintain connection, disconnect. I mean, all the control uh, procedures, all the control procedures uh, will be handled by this one, the control uh, control uh, uh, units. All right, so this is actually is the is the heart of the uh, circuit switch node, like a like a microprocessor that or microcontroller that can take uh, actions for uh, it can provide many uh, uh, functions, all right, to some uh, devices. So this one actually will take care about most of the procedures inside the circuit uh, switching. <clears throat> all right, so this one actually is very important, blocking issues. So important characteristics of circuit uh, switching device. We have blocking and non uh, uh, blocking. So this one actually it's I mean blocking probability actually is anywhere in, in terms of in terms of telecommunications. Because <laughs> we cannot make sure that the links actually are available 100% to all subscribers. We have some scenarios where subscribers cannot reach their their destinations. All right, so there is some uh, 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 probability of, of blocking, but in terms of circuits, since the, the the path actually is established like by switches, by transistors, or by some electronic devices, then we can um, uh, we can let's say um, uh, control this one the, the blocking. So this one the blocking occurs when network is unable to connect stations because all paths are are in use. And a blocking network allows uh, allow this. That means there's some probability of blocking used on voice system and short duration call. But for non-blocking <coughs> circuit switching uh, permits all station to connect in pairs at once and used for some data connections. All right, so this one actually that's all connections will be connected to each other in, in pairs. For example, A goes to B and C goes to D and all that one, the one that we provided previously, but this one actually will be in terms of cost will be high. All right, in terms of cost high, but we'll try to, to treat the blocking via uh, some techniques. We will, we will check it um, uh, afterward. <clears throat> all right, so I will, uh, I will stop here for for a break, all right, for let's say 15 minutes, and after that we will go to to see some some design concepts that related to uh, uh, these techniques, all right, space division uh, switches and time division uh, switches, all right, guys. So uh, I will meet you in in 15 minutes times. OK, guys. OK, sir, sure. All right.
All right, hello guys, how are you? <clears throat> hello, sir. Hello, sir. All right. Okay. All right, so I'm um, uh, two circuit switching, uh, switching uh, techniques that we are going to adopt. Uh, this one, the space division uh, switches. Uh, and the time uh, division uh, switches. All right. Uh, one and, and two. Also, we, hi we highlighted this one actually briefly in, in previous uh, chapters. And um, today we're going to use it. Um, we're going to try to. Uh, to design. To design at least this one, the space division. Uh, switches. All right. So this is actually the structures. Uh, the structures of. Um, circuit switching technologies. Uh, the structure we have. Uh, yeah, uh, two. Two technologies in terms of structure, either this one or or this one. So in uh, in space, this one in the space division. Uh, switches. Uh, the path in the circuit are are separated from uh, one uh, another spatially. All right, so it's like when you have <clears throat> when you have um, uh, two terminals would like to to communicate, then the path will be gonna established between two terminals exactly. But in terms of time time division, we have some some flexibility in terms of uh, rearranging, reordering, for example, different nodes would like to communicate with each other. So we have some some flexibility in in the time division uh, switches. All right. So this one, the space division, uh, originally developed for the features for analog environments. So separate physical path. OK, divided in, in a space and each connections required the establishment of a physical path through the switches. And dedicated slowly to the transfer of signals between two endpoints. And the basic block or building block of the switch, we have the crossbar. Crossbar switch. All right, this is the main the main point. So when we said the crossbar switch, this one connects. Um, this one crossbar switch connects N input. All right, to let's say M output in a grid. In a grid. All right, so this is what we call the crossbar uh, uh, switching. So how, how they can connect this one using, for example, some uh, electronic uh, device like transistor. All right, like transistor. So they can uh, communicate with uh, with each other. So when we said the crossbar switch, that means the main function, the main features of this one is to connect N input to M output in a grid, all right, in a grid. And the way that they can connect this one to this one in this grid by using uh, some electronic devices like uh, transistors. All right. <clears throat> and here the uh, number of cross points grows as a square of number of stations. This one actually in terms of computational complexity, we will highlight it afterward. 
and the loss of cross point prevents uh, connections and inefficient use of cross points all stations connected only few cross point in use okay <clears throat> then um, uh, we can avoid actually the the, the limitation of um, of um, i mean the major limitation of the cross point design is the number of cross point required all right the number of cross point required the cross point here for example let me show you this one the cross parts which is you can see cross point cross point cross point so that means all the nodes are are connected if you'd like to go for this one to this one then you will follow for example this this one and you will connect all the way all right <clears throat> so the remaining here it will be uh, available okay and also active you can for example choose different so it depend so that's why actually the the main the major limitation of the of this design is the number of cross points required this one the cross point all right so in order to connect for example n input this one n let's say to m output uh, all right using a cross bar this one cross bar switch so we required n times m cross point this one all right n times m cross point so that means the 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 computational complexity will be a little bit high for example if this one is a thousand all right and this one is a thousand then you can imagine uh, requires a switch with with one million cross points all right so one million cross points and all these cross points can be a transistor so you can imagine i mean the computational complexity can be increased with the increases of input and, and output <clears throat> All right, so this one we're talking about about the cross uh, crossbar. All right, crossbar switches, which is the number of cross points, cross a square of number of of stations. All right, squares the number of stations, like like what we have done previously, n times m. <clears throat> so we can solve actually this. Uh, uh, this problem by using multi-stage all right by using multi-stage switches this one can be the limitation of this one can be solved by what we call it the multi-stage uh, switching all right the multi-stage switching we will talk about, about it afterward yeah this one all right multi-stage this one multi-stage actually is comes to solve the limitation of this one crossbar switches all right crossbar switches <clears throat> all right so the features actually connect n input to m output in a grid all right so we have we have this one n output in a grid all right you can see and cross points are n times m this one n times m so if we have thousand n thousand m you can see that the cross points will be like a million all right and use electronic micro switches like a transistor at each cross point all right so this one it's a transistor 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 transistors and so on and so forth and for this one actually is a example of none a blocking because each point can connect to to another point in a pair all right for example this point <clears throat> can connect to this point uh, through this all right and this one can go through this and this one can go through this and so on and so forth so that means that the blocking actually will be really um, the percentage or the probability is less compared to for example other techniques in terms of disadvantages of um, of this one the crossbar all right crossbar uh, switches 
we have a huge crossbar size, the number of cross points grows with the square of the number of the attached input device. All right, this is a normal scenario, N is same as M. So that means, as I mentioned, the complexity will be depend on the input and output, input and output increased, then the complexity gonna increase. And in efficient utilization, in a practical less than 20% cross point are used at a given time. So in terms of utilization, in terms of utilization of the uh, available cross point will be uh, really less because the statistical study, uh, I mean, they found that 20% cross points are used at a given or less than, all right, less than 20% cross points are used at a given time. So normally this is statistical study, statistical study normally uh, used in in a busy hour, all right, in a busy hour, similar to mobile communication. So for example, the busy hour for mobile communication is from 12 to 2 p.m. All right, I'm not sure about again the busy hour here, for example, in, in Doha or in Kurdistan, because some other countries from 12 to 1.30, all right, let's say to 1.30 p.m. or to 2 p.m. This one actually is a break, lunch, lunch hour, and a, a break, and after that they continue 2 to 6. All right. So this one actually is a is a break. So when we have a break, then the the probability that we are going to use our mobile is high. All right. So is this one at this at this peak hour? It's the best time to do some statistical analysis. All right, statistical analysis. So that means this is the the peak where more and more and more people use their their mobile to communicate with their friends to refer to some missed call or some messages okay so if i do my statistical analysis in this the remaining will be less than this for sure so when i said that less than 20 percent cross points are used at a given time this one actually during the the peak hour or the busiest hour all right so to overcome the above limitation in order to deal with this one limitation to overcome and to reduce we have what we call the multi-stage switched is employed all right multi-stage switch is employed so when i said multi-stage the advantages of multi-stage it comes to overcome all the disadvantages of crossbar switching so this is the crossbar you can see this is the crossbar switches all the Cross point is the electronic uh, devices like a, as I mentioned, the transistor. All right, transistor like an off and on. Okay, and we said that this one the computational complexity and will be really high cost. So in order to in order to provide an efficient uh, techniques we have um, uh, space division all right space uh, division and multi-stage all right multi-stage so cross bar switch for example n times n array of cross points it is a non-blocking switching request denied when line already engaged all right so that means it's a non-blocking but we have I mean, when we said it's a non-blocking, is not, for example, 100% non-blocking. That means your call will be for sure you reach your destination. We have, I mean, some probability, but it's very, I mean, uh, minor. Uh, when line actually already engaged, that means all the points are are engaged. Then in this case, you will have some. Um, what you call it possibility of of a blocking and the complexity is measured by number of cross points all right how many cross points we have implementation difficulties for a bigger input output for example if we have thousand input thousand outputs then this one is required 10 to power six cross points all right 
So in terms of multi switches, the features combine crossbar switches in several stages like like a, you remember the packet switching when we said that the data gonna divide it into small small packets and in if data is divided into small small packets the processing time will be faster compared if we are doing processing for the entire message all right so that means in terms of efficiency this one the packet will be much better if we are using uh, one block of of data so same procedures will apply here but in terms of multi-stage switches so that means combine crossbar switches but in a several stage all right in a several stages and devices are linked to switches that in return are linked to a hierarchy of other switches all right so in terms of of design so it depend on the number of stages and the number of switches required and usually middle stages have fewer switches than the first and the last stages as we will see afterward all right this one the key features of the design of multi switches so we have input and we have output so this one must be same for example if i said 200 times 200 so that mean here is 200 how many blocks? I don't know, depend. And here the output is 200 with same. So that means number of blocks, for example, one to n, here also one to n. Here altogether I have 200. Here the output altogether I have 200. But in between I can play around. Previously crossbar, this one will be altogether in a grid. But in this case, multi stage switches. I can play around in this uh, middle stages, which is here. Middle stages, this one. All right, middle stages have fewer switches than the first and the last stages. All right, fewer uh, switches, but we have some formula actually to some procedure to follow in order to design the entire uh, switching circuit. All right. So provide several options for connecting each pair of link device because we have middle stage in between. So we have some options to which block we can we can follow us. And the main advantages of the multi stage switches is the reduce the number of cross points, reducing the number of of uh, cross point compared to this one crossbar and the disadvantages is more complex control in terms of controlling units then will be uh, complex compared to this one because this one you can see if you'd like it's very straightforward you can connect but in this case in terms of controlling we have different stages one two and three and each stage has its own switches, input and output, so the controlling process will be, uh, complexity will be high. And the blocking uh, occurs when a network is enabled to connect stations because all paths are in use. All right, and this one, the blocking is usually during the period of heavy traffic. This one, the busy hour. Normally in, in wired and wireless, we have what you call it, the busy hour as I mentioned in mobile normally all the statistical studies would be 12 between 12 to 2 all right even in Washington DC uh, which is the most crowded city in the world where both commercial and and government offices are there uh, their statistical analysis between 12 and and 2 in Washington DC all right so this is I mean general general uh, 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 overview of the multi uh, switches uh, techniques all right so uh, for example here we have multi stages so now it's this one it's um, uh, 10 times 10 all right 10 times 10 you can see how many input I have, 1, 5, 6, 10, 
So this is goes for the input stage or the first stage. And the last stage or third stage. Also, I have 10. OK, the input, this one and this one should be same or usually same. So I have 1, 5 and 6, 10. So previously, if I would like to use the crossbar, then I have just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And here I have 10. In between, I have transistors. In between, I have cross points. All right, which is all and all we have 10. So each line we have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And so on and so forth. But in this scenario, we have some stage in between. All right, we have some stage in between. So I divided the first stage into two blocks. So each have five uh, inputs. For example, this one, one block is five and another block is, is five. All right, so since I have two, then this one will be five times two. All right, five times two. All right, so in this particular scenario, in between the second stage or the middle stage, so I have two, then this one must be two times two because the last stage should be same. So if I have five times two, the last should be two times five because I need to generate five for each blocks because again, as I have agreed, I have tens times tens. So in this case, in between, I have two times two and two times two. So two blocks, two times two. All right, so that means this one will be two and two. All right, two and two. And this one will be also two times two. So this one should be same. You can see, for example, five times two. Here I can start by two. All right, and here five times two, I can just put it here two times five. All right, because the output and input must be identical. Output and input, for example, here I have 10, combination of two blocks. Here also I have 10, which is combination of two blocks. All right, so if I design this one five times two, and this one, the, the, the information, I mean, provided by by uh, by a formula, we will, we will check it afterward, but I mean, generally speaking. All right, so five times two, this one should be two. All right, and this one should be two times two. Why? Because here I have two and here I have two. All right, so this one will be two times two. All right, so here is two and two. Then here is two times five. All right, then the output from here, for example, will, for example, five will go to this uh, uh, blocks and from this will go to to this one, for example. All right, and from this one can comes to this blocks and go down until reach to six. So from six to one and from five from this block, upper block to the to two in the upper block of the output stage. All right. So this is the way <coughs> I mean the general scenarios in the in the multi uh, multi switches. That mean I need to reorganize or regroups the input and output in in a way that I can that I can improve the processing all right that I can improve the processing so that I can improve the efficiency of the overall um, uh, switching center okay so again this is just an example we have 10 we have decided to divide it into two so that means this block I have one and two blocks. All right, one and two blocks. So each blocks, because I have 10, so that means one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. Five plus five will be 10. So this one I said is five times two. Then the last stage should be the other way, two times five. And each one, two, three, four, five plus one, two, three, four, five will be 10. So this one, 10 and 10 will be same. All right, 10 and 10 will be same. And in between again, should be also match with the outputs of the first stage. For example, two, then I have two times two, here two and here two, then this one, two times two um, uh, switches. 
Uh, all right, guys, this one is uh, the general description is is it clear? Yes, sir. All right. All right, so here if I said like I have similar to what I have done times times 10. All right, so I can divide into two groups. One, two, each, one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, and here in between, so this one will be five times two, five times two. Here I have two times two. All right, this one one, and this one two, and this one one, and this one two, and this one also. Uh, two times five. So here one, two, three, four, and five. And here one, two, three, four, and five, two times five. So that means this one went from here and one from here and one from here and one from here. Then this is my all uh, switching circuits. All right, all switching circuits. Okay, so this is multi-stage. Stage one, stage, middle stage two, and the last the last stage five times two I have five and I have outputs two and two times two that means I have two inputs two outputs two inputs two outputs and two times five I have two inputs five outputs two inputs five outputs so I'll take one from here all right and one from here so I can connect both and this one also you can take one from this and and one from the second all right, the second uh, block, the lower block. So in this case, we have we have all together here is a 10. The output all together is a 10. And in between, we have designed some some blocks that refer to what we call it the multi-stage uh, multi uh, technique. All right, or multi-stage crossbar or switching. <clears throat> all right, so here we, we have some some formula to check the cross point. For example, if you'd like to calculate the cross point, then um, then you can see this one two n divided by small n n k, and this one will be provided k, all right, and n and capital n. So when I said capital n is the input, all right, input is here, and will be same output is is here, all right. So in between this one, the input and output will be n times k. All right, n times k, n times k, until we reach to n divided by small n. All right, n divided by small n. So this one will be provided, all right, for the design procedures and depend on the, the scenarios will be provided. That mean, for example, if you'd like to design, the manager will, will ask you that these are the blocks that's required and this is the number of of input and outputs, small input and output in any key, then you can you can you can go ahead and, and design your own uh, uh, multi-stage switches. All right, so in between here we have n divided by n times n divided by n. So this one is identical. All right, so for example, I have here is 200, and here small n I have is 10, then 200 divided by by 10 is 20 then this one will be 20 times 20 all right 20 times 20 and in terms of the blocks one two until i reach to k small k and this one one two three until i reach to n divided by n so if i have 20 10 then this one until 20 that means one two three four until i reach to 20 and if i have 200 then how many inputs for each? How many input for each would be 10? All right, so this one would be 10, this one would be 10, this one would be 10, until I reach 20, this one would be 10. So 20 time, times 10, 20 times 10 will be 200. All right, and same goes for, for the output. Same goes for the output, but this one you can see n times k, this one will be k times n, all right, k times and so from one, two, three, four, for example, until I reach to 20, all right, 
until I reach 220 because n divided by n, I assume that they have the 200 for, for n capital and for n small, which is the input for the each blocks would be 10, then I have 20. So 20, that means each blocks got 10. All right, this one 10 and this one all together 10. And um, uh, all right, so this one actually is depend on the value of k. Then I can take, for example, this one 10 times um, uh, 20, and this one will be 20, this one 20, 10, then this one 20 times 20, this one 10 times 20, and so on and so forth. All right, so we have we have such a, a procedure. I will we will take some some example and try to solve it step by step. But this is the way how we can calculate the the cross points. All right, cross uh, cross points will be I mean uh, less compared to the cross bar. All right, less compared to the cross bar. All right, so multi stage switch with this me uh, uh, three smaller space division. Uh, switches and no unnecessarily non-blocking if k less than n. So if you would like to go for uh, non-blocking, all right, k is less than n, or we have some clause, uh, we call it the clause condition, all right, clause uh, condition, if we would like to, I mean, design our, our circuit switching without or assuming or making sure that non-blocking, all right, so we have what we call it clause non-blocking switching uh, fabric. So the clause has its own uh, condition, uh, making that K should be equal, all right, to 2N minus 1. So from the given N, we can determine K, all right, but in the previous one, all are provided K and and n, n capital, so we can straightforward calculate. But in this particular case, we might ex uh, experience some, uh, some what we call the blocking. But if you would like to make it non-blocking, all right, non-blocking uh, switching uh, uh, network or telecommunication network, then we can follow what we call it the clause clause condition. Again and again, this one actually the blocking probability is really reduced compared to this one. We cannot say we don't, we have, I mean, such a great network, there is no blocking 100%. All right, but maybe the blocking here will be really, um, uh, I mean, less or few compared to the, to the previous one. All right, so this is how the the switch inside, you remember the first slide or second slide, we said we have one, two, three, all right, and we have switch and we have one, two, three, all right, we have three nodes, A, B, and C, you would like to communicate D, E, and F. So in between here, we said we have some switching, all right, so now we are, we are discovering this one, all right, we are discovering this one. If you remember here, what is it? Um, yes, this one. You remember this one, terminal A, B, and C would like to communicate with this one, and we said here we have we have we have switches. So now we are we are here actually. We are we are gonna design this one, and we're gonna discover. All right, we're gonna discover even the uh, multiplexing, even the multiplexing. All right. So this one actually is the block that we have highlighted previously. Uh, yeah. All right, this one, the block that we, we have highlighted previously, what happened inside? All right, what, 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 what inside? So we are, we are zooming here. Okay, zoom in to see uh, what is inside the, uh, the switching center or what is inside the um, exchange office or the switching office. All right, so again, this one, if we'd like to compare the complexity, if we'd like to compare the complexity. So for any given n and n and k, we can calculate the cross points, how many cross points. So we can compare, for example, this one with the, um, with this one, all right, with the crossbar. 
because this one we call it the crossbar. You have to be careful because in, in design, if I ask you to use crossbar, then then you have to generate such a grid and all the cross points, or you can just draw a small transistor. And if if ask you to design using multi-stage, then we have to follow this uh, uh, multi-stage procedure. All right, multi-stage uh, switch procedures. All right. <clears throat> All right, so here we have, for example, desired inputs and desired output. This is the condition. So sometimes the question asks you to design using this one and redesign. All right, for same for same scenario using non blocking. So for example, if I ask you to design using non blocking, then you have to take this one class condition or class criteria. We call it this one class criteria or class uh, uh, conditions. All right. So the way that we determine the K will be different. All right. From here, n times K. All right. And here you can you can see n times n times K will be uh, different. The number of of Ks. All right. Number of Ks will be different. If we would like to design using the clause criteria or non-blocking switching criteria. All right. Non-blocking switching criteria. OK, <clears throat> so for example, here we have. Uh, multi stage switch is non blocking if N. Yeah, all right, so the small N. Uh, can, so for example, this one actually is we have. Uh, each block is three times five and how many block I have one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So that means I have 21. All right, times. 21. Here I have 5 times 3. All right. And how many block I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So I have 21. So you can see this one, the output. All right. And this is the home put is, uh, is uh, same. All right. 3 times 5 and 5 times 3. But in between here, since I'm, I'm following, for example, the the close columns you can see here, for example, seven times seven. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then I put here is a, is a seven. All right. And here one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then I put here is, is a seven. All right. So how many, how many I have here, for example, seven times seven, and here is, is three times five. So that means one, two, three, four, and five. So each will be five. Here is one, two, three, four, and five. But here, how many input output I have? Seven. So that means from each block, one, two, three, four, five, seven, I have one input to make sure that I can follow and I can fulfill all the paths. And same goes for this one. Here I have seven. So how many block I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And also got for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. So here I have one, two, three, four, and five blocks. Same to this one, five blocks. All right, five blocks. And the number of input output depend on the blocks of the first stage and the second stage, which are seven. So I need to make sure this one actually is identical. Seven times seven or three times three or four times four. This one will be same according to the number of blocks here and number of blocks here. All right, so this is actually it's the um, how it looks like the multi stage. But if I would like to follow the uh, clause conditions, non blocking here, non blocking, I can say that the small n. All right, you can see here n times k. I can determine which is capital N divided by two half. All right, so for example, if I said that here I have 200, all right, here I have 200, and I would like to determine the small n according to clause <coughs> non-blocking switches, what I need to find here is 200, all right, 200 divided by 2, and I need to take half of this one. So what's 200 divided by 2 is 20, 
is uh, sorry, is one uh, is one hundred. Am I right? So half of this one, half of this one will be fifty. All right, and also I can determine K according based on the value of of n. All right, based on the value of of n. So uh, this one you have to. All right, you have to what you call it. Um, uh, memorize this one actually is a small, small formula. It's not uh, it's not difficult, but it's it's very important in terms of in terms of design because we have two types of design either by using the, the normal one we call the blocking scenarios or multi stage or if I said, for example, the uh, class criteria, redesign or design your class criteria, then you have to to fulfill these two conditions, K, two small n minus one. This one it's provided, which is the input of, of the first stage and the output of the last stage. And also uh, K can be determined from this formula and also small n can be determined from this condition, which is n capital divided by two, half of that. All right. <clears throat> So these are actually the most um, the most important. All right. So, um, um, uh, for example, here we have we have n capital. You can see. All right. Grouped into small small n. All right. The n capital actually is divided into small small n divided on how many blocks we have. And here we have n capital divided by n crossbars. You can see. Here, this one divided by this one. OK, so it depends. So I can determine stage one. So in stage two, we have K crossbars. All right, K crossbar, which is here we have N times K. All right, so K crossbar, K crossbar. And here we have K times N because we said N and n here must be same and for sure the total capital n and capital n will be same all right so here we have n capital divided by n crossbar here we have k crossbar and here we have n divided by capital n divided by small n crossbar so that means stage one and stage two same and in between depend on the case <clears throat> One minute, guys. I need to recharge my laptops. One minute, please. All right, then to design a three stage switches, uh, for sure we can increase actually. And as I mentioned, the design can start by very simple design uh, and we can have advanced, uh, really advanced design and complicated design. But this one actually it's uh, similar to, I mean, the design of the switching is similar to the, um, the what you call it, the concept of, uh, of multiplexer. All right, so in microprocessor and in digital technologies that that you have done, then you can use, I mean, different type of multiplexers with input output in order to link between the two different stages. All right, so same, I mean, concept, almost same concept here. Uh, but in here, in this case, we have the switches, all right, in terms of, let's say, flip flops of, or, or what you call it, the registers. So anyway, so we divide the n input lines into groups, each of n lines, this one. All right, so for each group, we use one crossbar size. This, this is the size. All right, crossbar, this is the size, this one. All right, this is the size of crossbar. Where k is the number of crossbars, 
in the middle uh, in the middle stage. All right. So in other words, the first stage has this one capital N divided by N cross bar of N times N cross points. All right. So this one. This is you can see this is cross bar of what N times K. All right. So this is input output. How many blocks we have? N capital divided by small n. And K cross bar each size is this one, the size N capital divided by N, N capital divided by N, the middle stage, this one. All right, this one. N capital divided by small n, the size. All right, so whatever we have, whatever small n we have, we can. <clears throat> All right. And what else? We use N over N cross bar, each size K over N on the third stage, which is, I mean, same. All right, but this one n times k, this one k times n. All right, because we need n here and n here. Since we have n inputs, we have n outputs. All together will be n capital, and all together will be n capital. Same here, we said that the n inputs, uh, we divide n input, which is the capital, into groups of each n lines. All right, each n lines, and the size will be. Um, in terms of crossbar and time scale. So we can calculate the total number. This one, the total number. All right. Total number in terms of if I ask for complexity, determine the complexity of the crossbar and and so on and so forth. Then this one will be um, the total uh, number of cross of cross point to K capital N plus K N over n capital over n small all square. So this one in terms of the com, uh, com, uh, complexity. All right, complexity or computational complexity, computational complexity, and you can compare for any other technique like like crossbar, the one that we have used for the grid. All right, this one, the one that we use for the grid and multi stage and how many stage we have. So you can, I mean, you, you can compare. All right, so here we have some 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 examples. For example, design a three stage 200 times 200 switch. All right, here is N capital provided 200 with K equal four. All right, and N equal equal 20. All right, N equal 20. So. So how we can how we can solve this one, uh, guys? So um, let's um, the the procedure actually is provided here. You can see number one, all right. Number two, and number number three. So number one, we divide n input line into groups. So each n lines. All right, so into groups, this one groups, group one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, for example. So what's the types of groups? This one, we start from one until n capital divided by small n. So for this one, if I would like to follow this, the points number one, so I need to make a groups. All right, let me. Right, keep this one. OK, so for example, here I have 200 and small n is 20. All right, 220. So if I would like to set the inputs, all right, group one, two, until, until I reach to n capital divided by n. So what is n capital? n capital actually is 200. 200 divided by 20. Then what I have? 10, am I right? So I supposed to have here is 10, from 1 to 10. Then each one, how many input I have? So 1, 2, until 20, am I right? Then 20, 20, 
times 10 will be 200. So all together here will be 200. So I divided into how many crossbar? Um, this one, how many crossbar? You can see. Uh, where is yeah, this one? N capital divided by N small. So my N capital is 200 divided by 20, then will be 10. So I have from 1 until I reach 10. So here will be N times K. So it's very simple, this one, because it's provided. So N times K, which is <clears throat> 20 times 4. All right, 20 times 4. So that means I have here is 20. All right, and here is 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right, 1, 2, 3, and 4 until I reach one, two, three, and four. So in between here, I have how many? I have 20. All right, 20. Um, this one, the stages, you can see. Uh, this one, all right, until two and minus one, for example, all right, or this one is the clause. This one until K. All right, one until K. All right, so one until K. So what's the value of K? What's the value of K here is four. Then I one, two, three, and four. And each the input, how many inputs? N capital divided by small n. So that means 20. All right, so 20 times 20. All right, one, 20, one, 20. 120 and here also is 120, 120. So here you can see is 20 times 4. I said the last stage, which is this one, you can see this one is n times k. All right, n, which is 20 times k4. This one n times k. All right, and in the last stage, what I need to do, I need to say k times n because n must be same. N, N, until the last one would be N and the total capital N will be same. So here I have one, two, three, and four, the size of each, which is N capital divided by small N, so 20 times 20. So in this case, what's the value of uh, the blocks actually will be, will be same, number of crossbar will be same, which is 10 and the size is k times uh, times n <clears throat> which is 4 times 20 all right so that means i have 1 2 3 and 4 and here i have all right uh, uh, 20 all right 20 until I reach to the block 10, which is 20. So all together, this one will be 200. And all together, this one will be 200. And this one, for example, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and comes and comes, and all together can be all connected. All right, connected to this one, and that one, and that one, and this one, and that one. From here, we can draw a multi-stage uh, circuit switching for uh, this uh, question. For example, design. This one, actually, this exercise, we're going to solve it in, in details again in, in in our tutorial class. Next class will be at AUK for more for more details and, and better understanding. But I'm here, put it just challenge yourself. Once, I mean, after this class, you can try your own and you can uh, uh, follow them this this algorithm all right and the blocks here uh, uh, provided all right for example here how many how many blocks i need to use this one n capital divided by small n and n times k so it depend on the value of n and k so this one actually we have n capital divided by small n times n capital divided by small n for how many crossbar I have, I have until I reach K. All right, and this one will be the other way. We have N times K here, we have K times N, and the number of blocks and the number of cross cross points, we have same, all right, N capital divided by N. 
<clears throat> All right. So then for this one, design a three stage 200 times 200. So that means when I said 200 times 200, that means this one will be N capital 200. All right. So depend on the arrangement, K equal four and N equal 20. From K and N, I can design. All right, from K and N, I can design because because this one actually will be one, two, until I reach N capital divided by small n. And this one, one, two, until I reach N capital divided by small n. So N capital is provided 20, and small is 10, so 200 divided by 20, that means this one will be 10. All right, this one will be, will be <coughs> 10. And for sure, N is a 20, all right? Actually, it's no need to provide, for example, N here is 20. The reason why, because if I have 10 blocks here and I have all together 200 inputs, so that means for sure each block will be 20 inputs. So 20, 20, 20 times 10, all right, 20 times 10 would be 200, all right? So for sure this one will be, for sure this one will be uh, 20 for each block. And 4K is provided as 4 then this one will generate four, this one will generate four, until this one will generate four. And for the middle stage, all right, you can see at middle stage we have um, n capital divided by n times n capital divided by, by small n, which is 20 times 20, all right, how many blocks I have, all right, so I have until I reach k, all right, which is four, so that means one, two, three, four, each 20 times 20, all right, each 20 times 20. And the last stage, which is the opposite of the first, so we have 20 times n times k. Here we have k times n, so 20 times 4, so we have 4 times times 20 because I need to make sure that the output stage will be same at the uh, input stage. All right, guys, this one is clear, guys, for you, this, uh, this question, because you're going to solve it uh, after the class and also in coming tutorial, we're going to discuss it in, in details. We're going to draw the blocks in in details again. All right, <clears throat> so if I would like to redesign, all right, if you remember, I I keep mentioned that in, in the question, maybe I ask you to design and redesign because we have two design techniques. The first one is multi-stage switches, and the second one is Close non-blocking criteria. So if I ask you to redesign using close non-blocking criteria, all right. So this question also asks you here. Uh, design three stage. That means this one is a multi-stage. All right, normal multi-stage. And in two, I ask you redesign one. So that means redesign this one. All right. 2 times 200, 200 times 200 switch using the clause condition with a minimum number of cross points. So that means using this one, clause, clause condition. So if I would like to use um, clause condition, <coughs> then I have um, a, um, a conditions. Where's the clause conditions? You can see that the small n can be determined from this small n can be determined from this formula, which is n capital divided by two and half of it. All right. <clears throat> uh, sir, can we end uh, today's session? I have a quiz I need to prepare for uh, just after 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are actually, I mean, just I'm giving general, I mean, idea about this one and I will, I will stop here for sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So when I said redesign one to be in close condition, then I have, I have to follow this, uh, uh, this uh, condition here in order. So you can see the difference between between this one and this one. This one actually is provided K and N. Here I don't provide any K and N because K and N we have to determine according to the according to the clause, clause uh, condition. K can be determined from two and minus one. 
if n small n is provided, if not provided, we can determine from this uh, condition. This one we call the clause criteria. All right, clause criteria or clause condition, or sometimes we call it non-blocking, non-blocking condition. So same procedure, same procedure that we have followed in order to design this uh, multi-stage. We have to redesign, but in using clause condition, we have to determine both K and N, and after that, simply we can follow the steps here. All right, same, one, two, uh, because here you can see, n capital divided by, and here for example, two small n minus one, and n capital divided by, by small n. All right, so this one actually is challenge yourself. Um, you have to challenge yourself until the next, um, the next class. Again, guys, next class will be at, at a UK campus at, in, in the morning, 9 a.m., or if you would like to start by 9.30, we can start 9.30. 9 but it's very important to to make yourself available for better understanding again, guys. All right, so uh, I will stop here, guys, as I as I mentioned. All right, and we will continue by next class uh, uh, at AUK. We can, I mean, explain for the time division, I mean, the, the multiplexing, and after that we will have some some design uh, uh, exercises. OK, guys, so um, I hope that you can you can join uh, next class at the UK campus. I will make an announcement. And again, it's um, it's compulsory actually, guys, to to make yourself available at campus because this course should be I mean available for uh, face to face. So we are taking some hybrid. All right. So, due to the concentration of the, the COVID. So some courses online and some courses will be at the UK campus. OK, guys, then I wish uh, that we can meet each other again uh, by next um, next Wednesday. All right, I will make an announcement on that. OK, guys, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. See you. All right, see you.